Good morning guys and welcome back to my channel. As you know, I got hit in the back of my car a few times. So, my uncle, he decided, hey, let, let me send John this $150 camera so it, it sees behind me and in front of me. So, that's awesome. Thank you, Gideon. I'll link your channel down below and you guys can go follow him. He does flooring. Yesterday was the last day of the month. Let me show you what my ratings were. My ratings were this. Let's pop it up. Do you think I got Top Dasher? And this is my deliveries for last week. So I got 106 deliveries. I am well past the requirements that I needed for Top Dasher. But as you guys know, they don't always give it to me. You guys think they gave it to me or no? You're gonna have to wait till the end of this video to find out. I'm going to be doing a, a ride along video today and you guys will have to find out towards the end of this video whether I got Top Dasher or not. We've gotten a few orders already. I woke up this morning. For some reason they kicked me off of the schedule so I wasn't able to start my dash right away. Had to, I had to wait for it to get busy and it got busy around 7.30 and the dash was going to end at 8, 8 o'clock. I was only able to do two deliveries in that time and then I had to wait you know, an hour until 9 o'clock for it to get busy again and I started my dash again after that and only got one order so far and it's 9.42 okay guys we got our next order six dollars plus whatever six dollars plus for 1.8 miles so we're gonna take that accept the order before it goes away it's like right across the street at Little Caesars so we'll go pick that up and see how much this order goes up. Uh, let's see, depending on how many items are on there, there's nine items, okay. Woo. That's probably gonna take a while for them to finish that order. Maybe this order's gonna end up paying me 10 or $12, something around there. There's nine pizzas on there, actually. Sorry, there's seven pizzas and two sauces. Hopefully, sometimes when these bigger pizza orders come through, they have already come through the night before, so they they have them ready, but then other times they like to take their own sweet time and we will head in there, ask them, hey, how long up for the pizzas and stuff, and then we'll come back out here. Okay guys, so I didn't know this, Little Caesars doesn't open until 10, and it was 9.50 when I got there, but the workers in there were nice enough to open the door for me and let me in, and I only had to wait five minutes to get all these pizzas. That's awesome. Thank you, Little Caesars workers. <sighs> bought myself a drink so I can stay hydrated. This drop off is only four minutes away, so we're gonna go drop this food off. Hopefully it pays a lot more, but uh, it's going to a house, not a company, so I'm not expecting a massive tip like I would if it was a company, because companies are able to pay more because they get like tax write-offs or something for buying meals for their workers. <laughs> it's been a really long time since I've multi-apped, um, just because DoorDash has been giving me really good offers lately and I've been making my goal mostly through DoorDash. I, I do turn on Uber, but last week I only made like seven bucks on Uber. So DoorDash is my main source of income right now. Last week I was able to make around a thousand dollars I think. Last week was a really good week. And I don't know if this has anything to do with it, but last week was the week I had access to Dash anytime or Dash now. So that, that could be a factor in why I made more money last week than I have in the past couple of months in a single week. I remember the biggest pizza order I've ever gotten filled my entire back seat, clear full, it was like 40 pizzas or something, and it filled my entire passenger seat and I had to have the windows rolled down because I could not breathe from all the humidity and stuff from the pizzas. You know, letting off their smoke and steam. I remember thinking those orders were good for 15, 20 bucks maybe. For 40 pizzas. It's not the worst order, but to me it's not worth the effort it takes to load up all those pizzas to whoever I'm going to for just that amount of money. But this, this is only seven pizzas, so whatever it pays, it's worth it. It was only a mile and a, like 1.8 miles or something away. Okay, we just dropped off that order. It ended up paying us $11.53. I'll throw up a screenshot here. Not too bad for a mile. That was a pretty fairly easy order to do. Um, let's go on to our next delivery. 
we have our next order to McDonald's, 550 for 2.3 miles. We're gonna go ahead and take that. We're getting the orders pretty quickly and a lot of them are starting to be blue orders. That's really good. We arrived at the store. The new McDonald's pickup, when you are confirming the customer pickup, you have to enter the last three digits right here. I think that's kind of pointless because you see the three digits on your phone. I don't know what they're using this for. Um, it just seems like an extra step to me. I don't think that there's any way that that will prevent people from, you know, stealing the food if that's what they're trying to do with this entering the last three digits. It doesn't make a lot of sense to me, but I'm gonna go ahead and go into McDonald's, pick up this order. Usually around this time, they're super busy and take a while, so we'll see. And I'll see you guys on the drop-off. We did that McDonald's order and it took a long time. Um, we have our next order coming through. It says $12 plus. Whoop, let's, let's focus on here, focus on here. $12 plus, uh, we're gonna go ahead and accept that. We also did a $3 order from for one mile from Advanced Auto Parts or something and delivered it to a, a tire shop. Let's see how many pizzas. A lot of people ordering pizzas today. Um, I don't know if school is starting back up or something. Let me see where the drop off is. Yeah, it looks like this one's dropping off to a school. There's eight pizzas on there and we are in the parking lot right across from Little Caesars. So. This order says $12 plus. I don't know, maybe it'll go to $20 or maybe it'll be $15. $15 to $20 is what I'm expecting to get from this order. So let's go do that order and I'll let you guys know exactly what we get after we drop it off. Okay, when we got to Little Caesars, the order was ready. We're here at the drop off and we just dropped it off. The order ended up paying us $16.21. So around the mark I was expecting, I was expecting $15 to $20. That was a good order. And we're going to head back into our zone because that took us a mile out of our zone and see if we can get some better orders. It is now 11 o'clock, so that's when I start getting all the catering orders and stuff. So we'll see if we get catering orders. Hopefully we can make our goal today because there was two hours where we weren't able to be working because I, didn't, I wasn't able to get on the schedule and my dash ended. I'll see you guys on the next order. We've done a couple orders since we last talked. They weren't of very big significance, so I didn't really want to record them. But we have our next offer right here. It says 1050 plus for four miles. So we're gonna go ahead and pick it up. Um, on these 1050 plus orders, they'll probably be around like 15 to 20 dollars when it says 10 dollars plus. So that's kind of what I'm expecting from this offer. It could be less than 15 bucks, but I'm expecting 15 to 20 dollars. It is at Cafe Zupas, and they t they have a really long wait time. Sometimes their workers just work through the entire line because Cafe Zupas is pretty popular here. Or they they work through the entire long line that wraps around their store before they even start on DoorDash orders. I'm hoping that this order is ready when we get there, but it's not likely that it'll be ready. Okay, guys, Oop. that order took really long to pick up and I ended up getting a second order sent to me that said it would be six dollars plus while I was in there so we have those two DoorDash orders and we also got an uber order from Cafe Zupas that is also on the same route so we have three orders right now hopefully the total payout ends up being worth it for the hour because I, I had to wait in there for like 25 30 minutes maybe shut up hopefully it's worth it um, yeah, I'll see you guys once all these drop-offs are done. Oh, that was so stressful waiting for all three of those orders. That's why most of the time I don't stack orders, stack more than two orders at a time because Turn it's too stressful. Shut up! I am filming! It just gets too stressful to have three orders at a time. All right, I'll see you guys after all these drop-offs are done. Okay, so we have all those orders dropped off. The first order that said it was going to pay me $10.50 plus ended up being $11 even, but that was the biggest order out of all of them, so I don't know what happened there. The second order was the Uber order that I dropped off. I get there to the drop off and the customer said to call them and leave it on the east entrance. I try to get to the east entrance, there are fences that I can't even go around to the east entrance and they said don't leave it at the west entrance. So I call them. No answer. Call them again. No answer. Call them again. No answer. Call them again. No answer. Wait five minutes. No answer. Okay. 
I'm just gonna leave it at this west entrance that I can get into. I drive off, 10 minutes later I get a call from them. Where's my food? I'm waiting for my food. I told you. I called you five times. Oh, well I'm calling you back now. Well, too late, I already left. I'm like, long gone. So, that happened. Uh, probably won't get the tip on that order for the Uber Eats. The last order that I just dropped off had two items on there. Two items. And it said it was gonna be $6 plus. It ended up paying me $13. $13.50 actually. I don't know about that Uber order if I'm gonna get paid from it. I said at the end of the video, I'm going to tell you guys whether I got Top Dash or not. To my surprise, I actually got it. So, I woke up this morning and saw, oh, I can't dash now, and I wasn't, I didn't have, couldn't get on the schedule. So I was like, well, probably didn't get, I probably didn't get Top Dash here. I'm waiting, 7.30 rolls around and it gets a little bit busy, so I can get on the schedule until 8 o'clock. So I do that, and my dash ends at 8 o'clock. I only was able to do two orders. Then, I am sitting there for an hour, waiting, check, keep checking my phone, waiting for it to get busy, and 9 o'clock hits, I get in there, oh, it's busy. I get a notification, congratulations John, you completed a lot of deliveries last month while providing your customers great service. This means you qualify for Top Dasher rewards. That is amazing. I have never been a Top Dasher before. I have, you know, last week I was able to do the Dash Now from shopping orders, but I have never actually been Top Dasher for a month and everything. So that's awesome. I had almost the same kind of ratings that I had the first time I tried to get Top Dasher, so I don't know why I didn't get it the first time. I have Top Dasher and I can dash whenever I want. Thank you, DoorDash. We are at $91.95 because we had those two hours we weren't able to work because of, I wasn't on the schedule. Not the best. I'm hoping tomorrow goes better because I have access to Dash now. I can actually not have to worry about scheduling for this entire month, but I'm still going to schedule, but I won't have to worry if this schedule, I get bumped from the schedule. But don't forget about that giveaway we're doing at 1,000 subscribers. We are doing a $50 giveaway. All you have to do is comment the money back emoji in any video up until the 1,000 subscribers. So you want to enter in to be a part of that giveaway, just comment down below. Also, if you could leave a like, comment, subscribe. That'll help out too. That'll help you guys get that $50 sooner. Thank you so much for watching. Have a good one and drive safe out there, guys.